what up everyone it is Toshi and today I'm going to be going through my Bleach Brave Souls beginner's guide I guess you could call it so in this video I'm going to be giving out and going through six different tips that I have sort of assembled for a beginner's guide on Bleach Brave Souls you know just for new players to you know get started on the game make good progress and have a good account so all that being said let's get into it so tip number one do not waste your spirit orbs. What do I mean by that? Well, it's very tempting, you know, all the time to go on to the summons banners, whether it be character summons or accessory summons, and see a banner that looks good or looks useful or see a character that you like, and then start summoning, and then before you know it, you've got no orbs and you didn't even get the character that you want. So, because Bleach Brave Souls is a gacha game, no matter how much you summon or how much you spend, you are not guaranteed anything. Um, you know, even though certain, like, um, step-up summons guarantee a 5-star or, like, certain steps and all of that, um, you don't get to pick the 5-star, do you get what I mean? So, you'll get a 5-star character at these steps, but it might not be you, it might not be new, it might not be useful, and it might not be a character that you want. So, that's number one. You know, like, I'm not telling you do not spend your spirit orbs. Obviously, you have to spend them to get new characters. But just try and be a little bit smarter and responsible with them because you don't want to be running out all the time and then constantly having to try and farm more. Um, tip number two is you want to level up your characters. So if I go on to my um, if I go onto my inventory and I show you my characters, I'll show you what I mean. Um, okay, here we go. And I believe it's already sorted by level. Yeah. So, you know, as you can see, even characters that I don't use, they're all fully maxed out. Um, and the reason I say you do this is because, well, number one, whenever you level up characters, you get spirit orbs. So that's, like, the main reason. But number two is, like, if you don't max out your characters, uh, it becomes very quick and very easy if you have loads of characters in your album that, you know, they aren't upgraded, they aren't leveled up, they just sat there. So, you know, you have loads of characters, but because you haven't leveled them up, A, you're not getting the spirit orbs that you could be getting, and B, you can't use them in quests and battles and stuff because they're not leveled up, they're not maxed out. So, that's tip number two, make sure you level up and max out your characters. Number three, is, you wanna, is that you want to take advantage of quests and orders. So, um, most importantly is the player rank requirements, you want to climb these quickly. Because not only are they relatively easy to do, but they help you progress through the game quite quickly and make progress. Um, so don't forget about these ones especially. But you know, obviously check your orders occasionally too. You don't really check. You don't really need to check the daily and weekly ones, but you know, check the free ones, check the event ones, just because there might be awards that you might want. Do you get what I mean? Like for example, um, I'm not going to do the Gates of Oblivion because it'll take me way too long, and I just don't think I have enough characters right now on this new account. However, if you did have enough, you know, like, you might be interested in this. So that's my point. Um, on the topic of quests and stuff, obviously, you need to check out Senkaimon. Senkaimon is great. Do it every time it comes out. Obviously, I haven't done mine yet, but... And, you know, it can be difficult if you're a beginner um, and you haven't got, like, the right characters. But if you have got enough characters, do Senkaimon. Even if you can't complete all 50 stages, even if, even if you just complete a few, you still get rewards for it. And, you know, on the topic of events and Senkai Mon, um, you also want to make sure that you're doing the limited time quest point event that comes out every once a month. Um, I haven't done it because I don't own any of the bonus characters, so ideally you want to own at least two to three of them. Um, you can still do the quest even if you don't know, even if you don't own any, but it just takes you longer, so I'd rather not do it, but yeah. So that is tip number three. You want to take advantage of any quests and orders that you haven't already taken advantage of. Tip number four is do not forget about accessories. So what do I mean by that? Well, obviously, you know, most people know about accessories, what they are, but they're basically just objects and items you can take into quests and battle to give your character certain boosts. And it's very easy to forget about these. You know, when you're collecting and summoning for characters, it's very easy to forget you need accessories too. But without accessories and character links and that type of stuff, you know, without all these extra additives in battle, it's just going to make quests very difficult for you. So, obviously, you know, um, do not spend your spirit orbs on accessory summons. Like, never ever do that. Only ever summon for accessories if you're using tickets. 
um, but you know if you have any accessories or you have any tickets you want to make sure that you're using them and you're upgrading them because it'll make quests and missions and all that a lot easier to do in the future um, tip number five is learn how to farm so what do I mean by that well um, kind of similar to what I just went on about in the previous tip so you need to learn how to farm things like EXP crystals, droplets, crystal jewel quests and you know a lot of it is available on power up quests and if you haven't checked out my video on the quickest and easiest ways to farm spirit orbs and crystals and jewels those videos are both out on my channel you should 100% go and check them out um, but what do I mean by learning how to farm well you need to learn how to take advantage of quests like these um, and how to just get the maximum result and reward that you can because as you progress further into the game level up more characters get more characters you're going to be using and going through a lot more materials so you need to learn how to farm um, I, I could get a little bit deeper into it but that's like a separate video and I've already got two videos on farming out on my channel already so go check them out but that's tip number five right learning how to farm and now tip number six in this beginner's guide and the final tip at least that I could think of off the top of my head when I was writing this is take advantage of the exchange so what do I mean by that well there's multiple different exchanges be number one you've got the medal exchange arena medal exchange chronicle quest exchange raid medal exchange senkaimon medal exchange extreme co-op medal exchange birthday medal exchange coin exchange and the summons medal exchange so you know if you're a beginner it's perfectly reasonable for you to not have any raid medals or senkaimon medals arena medals etc but you probably have coins and birthday medals, etc, etc, from logging in. So, you know, obviously you haven't got to spend loads of them. Um, but it's just really... These exchanges are really useful for things like, you know, extra characters being number one. But even if you don't want to get the extra characters, like I said, you can get crystals and jewels, you can get accessories, summon tickets, etc, etc. So, just, I think a lot of people um, overlook and forget about the coin exchange and medal exchange. But honestly, do not. It is really useful, especially if you are a beginner. Um, but I think that pretty much does it for this video, so um, those were my six tips for beginners on Bleach Brave Souls. Um, obviously, tip number one, don't waste your orbs. Tip number two, level up your characters. Tip number three, take advantage of quests and orders. Tip number four, do not forget about accessories. Tip number five, learn how to farm. And tip number six, use the exchange. So, hope you all enjoyed this video, hope you all found it useful. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. This is Toshi, signing out.